In this project, you'll learn how to host an ESP32 web server and use ESP now communication protocol at the same time. You can have several ESP32 boards sending sensor readings via ESP now to an ESP32 receiver that displays all readings on a web server. The boards will be programmed using Arduino IDE. We have many guides about ESP now that you might be interested in. Just open the video description to read all our previous guides on ESP now. There are a few things that you need to take into account if you want to use Wi-Fi to host a web server and use ESP now at the same time to receive sensor readings from other boards. First, the ESP32 receiver board must be set both as a station and as an access point. The ESP32 should use a different Wi-Fi channel for station mode and a different channel for the access point. We'll set channel 2 for the access point. This should be the same Wi-Fi channel defined in the ESP32 sender boards. The sender boards should be connected to a receiver via access point on channel 2. The following diagram shows a high-level overview of the project we'll build. There are two ESP32 sender boards that send temperature and humidity readings via ESP now to one ESP32 receiver board. The ESP32 receiver board receives the packets and displays the readings on a web server. The web page is updated automatically every time it receives a new reading using server sent events. Each sender board will send a structure via ESP now that contains the board ID, the temperature, the humidity, and the reading ID. The reading ID is a number to keep track how many messages were sent. Before proceeding with this project, check the following prerequisites. We'll program the ESP32 boards using Arduino IDE, so make sure you have the ESP32 board installed in your Arduino IDE. To get readings from the DHT sensor, you'll need the DHT library from Adafruit and the Adafruit Unified Sensor Library. To build a web server, you need to install the following libraries, ESP Async Web Server and Async TCP. Finally, you need to install the Arduino underscore JSON library. For this project, you need three ESP32 boards and the following components. To send messages via ESP now, you need to get the receiver board's MAC address. Each board has a unique MAC address. Upload the following code to your ESP32 receiver board to get its MAC address. You can download it below. After uploading the code, press the onboard reset button and the MAC address should be displayed on the serial monitor. Now, you can start preparing the two ESP32 sender boards. Connect the DHT sensor data pin to GPIO4. Follow the schematic diagram to wire the circuit. Now, let's proceed to the sender code. Copy the code provided to your Arduino IDE. Insert the receiver's MAC address on the next line. Don't forget to give a unique ID to each ESP32 sender board. Repeat the same process for the ESP32 sender board number 2. Moving on to the ESP32 receiver. This board receives packets from the sender boards and hosts the web server to display the latest received readings. Grab the receiver code and copy it to your Arduino IDE. Type your network credentials in the following lines so that the ESP32 can connect your local network. Upload the code to your receiver board. The code is prepared to receive readings from two boards. The following diagram summarizes how the server sent events work and how it updates the values without refreshing the web page. For an in-depth explanation, read the companion project page. After uploading the code to the receiver board, press the onboard reset button. The ESP IP address should be printed in the serial monitor. If everything is going as expected, the ESP32 receiver board should start receiving sensor readings from the other two boards. Open a browser in your local network and type the ESP32 IP address. It should load the temperature, humidity and reading IDs for each board. Upon receiving a new packet, 
your web page updates automatically without refreshing the web page. In this tutorial, you've learned how to use ESPNOW and Wi-Fi to set up a web server to receive ESPNOW packets from multiple boards, many to one configuration. Additionally, you also use server sent events to automatically update the web page every time a new packet is received. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and ring the bell for post notifications to catch my next ESP32 projects. Finally, make sure you visit randomnerdtutorials.com for the full step-by-step -step instructions and downloadable code. Just click the first link in the video description. That's it for now, and we'll see you in the next video.